Hello fellow GPs, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more scuffed epic visual novel. Uh, the fuck happened to this man? Oh my god, it's Michael. How did this happen? Scott, you better have a good explanation for this. Uh, I think he licked the mop with all the gross crap on it. Seems like a thing he would do. The doctor patches up Jennifer and he... Okay. Well, that didn't take long at all. What the hell? Now you see there was a mystery box here. Because I don't see anything here. Uh, yeah, where did it go? But yeah, it looked like an arcade cabinet. Oh yeah, Emma asked me to patch that up. Then why was it delivered to me? No clue. Ayo, hey, that better not be what I think it is. You think- you look at the janitor's clothes, there's a white looking- Oh, God. I'm only joking, that's just milk. That's a bit too sticky to just be milk. Well, the other day I nutted into- Oh my fucking- Oh my god, nutted into a milk carton because there was nothing else to use. What the hell, man? Use a cloth or something. Clods are overrated. Oh, hi, Scott. I heard Janitor was unwell, so you had to come in late today. Yep, that's right. I, I figured you might need a lift because Janitor wasn't up to taking you. I'm going to drive us to work. Will Janitor be okay to work? He's injured. He has to stay home. Well, he can't stay in your apartment. He requires the smell of his cum suck. Oh, my God. What? Why does it fucking... Uh, cum sock matter? Oh, my fucking God. He, ha he has a condition. He won't be able to rest properly if his... Oh my god, I... <laughs> if his... If his cum sock cannot be smelled. But what happened when he was a child? It's a weird condition. Only happens when he smells it for the first time. That's a bit weird, but okay. Yeah, it, it's definitely a bit weird. More than a bit weird, actually. Alright then, are we taking him with us? C c count me in. Uh, we shouldn't take him with us. Sh should I call up the doctor? Yeah, I feel like that is a good idea. You call up the doctor. Yo, what's up, Scott? Sup, Anthony? Uh, oh, wait, that's my voice. Sup, Anthony. Janitor isn't feeling that well, but me and Jessica have to get to work. Could you take care of him? Uh, yeah, sure. We have a semen sock, right, nurse? Oh, jeez. Nurse? One second, I need to find the nurse. You guys can come down, though. It should be fine. Oh, okay, then. Oh, no, he has a cold. He has a cold. He, he's talking in all lowercase. How can you tell that? It's obvious in his voice that he's talking in all lowercase. Yeah, how can you not tell? Apparently, apparently that's bad. Come on, you two. Let's get down there. Yeah, I'm like gonna die. Oh no, he didn't put the apostrophe in I'm... He, he's failing his basic grammar, this is bad! Yeah, guys, stop talking about my condition. Let's just go. Oh no, he's getting worse. Come on, just got in the car. Yeah, but how are we supposed to get him down from here? Let me see. Save. Uh, the, uh throw, take him down the stairs. Throw him out the window. Let's chuck him out the window. What the hell? Why would we do that? There is a flutter garden there. If he fell, surely he would not do that much damage. I, I can just be off down there. N no, that's not funny. We need to throw you. Fine, make it quick. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Yay! You and just gotta throw a janitor out the window. I'm okay! Well, that worked. Uh, janitor, are you hurt? No, I'm fine, but we should get going. Uh, did we consider on how to transport him to the car? Uh, we could just assist him while he's walking, I guess. Alright, I guess that works. You and just go walk down to outside the building. Uh, so I'm guessing that no matter what I do, let me check real quick. We could just take the left. Amazing idea. 
Wait, the lift is undergoing maintenance at the moment. Nothing I can't fix. I am a janitor after all. Well, we don't ha want a janitor overworking. Yeah, this his janitorial instincts will force him to fix it. Uh, t take him down the stairs. That's easy. We can just take him down the stairs. Oh yeah, you take his left shoulder. I will take his right. Okay. You just gotta take him to the stairs. Why? Why is this necessary? You can't walk on your own. Yes, I can. Just grab him already. Yeah. Let go of me. No, janitor, we aren't letting you go down the stairs again. Too bad, I can do it myself. Come on, mate, you need our help to get down the stairs. Janitor frees himself from both of your arms. No! With that, janitor had used all of his strength. Janitor fell down the stairs and bumped his head. Oh no, will he be alright? Nope, this is not good. Maybe we should have considered another option. Janitor died. Oh shit. Uh, throw him out the window. Well, he died. Okay, here we go. Okay, I can stand, I think. Don't push yourself, mate. Go slowly. Okay, just sl Okay, just slowly, then. Okay, then. Janitor slowly gets down into the car. Alright, we got him. Just saying that like I'm some sort of animal. Shut up, you animal. Okay, then. You all drive down to the hospital. Yo guys, what's up? Oh shit. Hold on. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Sup doc, I'm just dropping janitor off. Uh, alright, I thought I patched him up alright, but okay. I think he needs a swim. Okay. Under understandable. Well, I spent all morning looking for nurse, and she's nowhere to be found. Yes, I changed the voice like twice already. Shut up. I'm right here, dumb ass. She looks like a robot. She could easily be a robot. Where the hell were you? I decided to sleep in. Suck it up, sweaty ass. Rude. Anyway, can you get a semen suck for Michael? Whatever. Well, now that it is accounted for, let's go and get him. I have a stretcher right over here. Cool. You and Anthony lower janitor onto the stretcher. I'm gonna perform some quick checks on him. You nod your head in agreement. Alright, I've just run a quick scan. He looks okay. Give him a few days. Alright, Anthony. Thanks a lot. I'll come visit him tomorrow. And would you say we could pick him up on, uh, I don't know, Wednesday? <laughs> Yeah, perfect. I'll call you or Jessica if anything happens. See you later, Scott. You and Jessica leave the doctor in peace as you both head to the arcade away from the jizz sock. Ten minutes later. Oh, alright. Apparently Emma left to go do something, so we are on our own for now. There is a note left here by her. Hey, guys. Sorry I wasn't here today. Since we are shut until 3.30, just get the place ready for all the school kids coming in like normal. Then I need one person interviewing our workplace students while the other monitors the cash register. I'll let you guys both decide that. Well, that's pretty much it. Feel free to order some food on the business card. Thanks, Emma. Interview the workplace student? Yeah, you'll be doing that. I don't trust you alone on front counter. What the hell is a workplace student? Oh, they're just kids from school that need work. Oh, so he's going for a position here? Yes, you're going to have to ask him a couple of questions. I can use this sheet, right? You pick up a sheet which has questions labeled on it. Uh, it's a bit outdated, but it does the trick. Alright. Three hours later. Late, later. Okay, it's 3.30 p.m. The people should be coming in now. You waited another 15 minutes. Now? Now? Where the fuck are they now? How will I know when that workplace guy shows up? He will come to you. I talked to the school a while ago. Hey, I'm here for an interview. Oh, hey, are you the workplace kid? Yo, I'm dripping and I'm here for the interview. Perfect, uh, Jessica, where do I take him? Just go to the back room where the fridge is. Alright. 
know who he looks like? Um, Shia LaBeouf's character in the fourth Indiana Jones movie, you know, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. You and Drip being head to the back of the arcade. Okay, where to start? I'm just gonna do this. Who are you? As I said, I'm dripping. Dripping is dripping. Anything else? Drip. Yeah, you're pretty decked out. Facts, my man. You look pretty sexy yourself. No homo. Uh, okay. I guess I'll take that as a compliment. What are your interests? I do some cones and shit, lad. Oh yeah, that seems like kids like you would do. I, I, I don't know what cones are. Don't call me a fucking kid, you grunk. Oh, this must have been... He must be Australian. Oh, this must have been made by an Australian. Alright, mate. No need to get angry at me. Epic, you want Siggy? Ugh, I fucking hate how it's Australian all of a sudden. Nah, I'll be fine. Pick your question, why do you... A bit of a weird one. Why do you exist? Because I decided to, I guess. Seems legit. Another question? Yeah, for sure. Is... <laughs> will you date me? The hell are with these questions? Let me see. Dating? We have to date each other? Hell yeah! Ayo, bro. What? You have a problem with that? Well, I guess I have no choice but to hire you. Really? But on the one condition that we don't date. Damn, I'm really fond of you, bro. We should fuck. Bit sus, but alright. Get out of here. Don't be late tomorrow. Oh, shit. I, I want to know about his mom. Is your mom hot? What the fuck are these questions? Shake my head. Is your mom hot? hot? Yeah, I guess. She has some pretty big ass. Whoa, bro, a bit too far. Your question, not mine. True. But on the one condition that we don't date. Damn, I'm really fond of you, bro. We should fuck. A bit sus, but alright. Get out of here. Don't be late tomorrow. But I have school tomorrow. After school, dumbass. Alright, man. Thanks so much. You and Dripping leave the room. You meet back up with Jessica. So, how was it? Yeah, it was fine. He asked to date me, so I told him, fuck no, and if he ever, if he never talked about it again, I'd give him the job. And he agreed. Sick! He'll be with us until Friday. He seems like a cool guy. So, should I ring him up and tell him he's hired? Uh, yeah. It's only for a week, though. It's the max he's allowed to do. He has to leave on Friday. Damn, that's sad, uh, definitely. Anyway, I guess it's time to close up. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, see ya. You leave the arcade and be hop back to your apartment building. <laughs> be hop, be hop, be. Sorry, I was just thinking about uh, Zabumafo for a second. You go on your couch and go to sleep. Oh, why is there a smell of a cum sock? Oh, Michael, what the fuck? <laughs> Good morning, Scott. Shut up, I don't give two shits. Okay, then, proceeding to shut up. Well, you do have one call from Jessica. Okay, then, what did she say? Hey, hey, Scott, I know you're probably sleeping at the moment, but we have a bit of a problem. That arcade cabinet we sent janitor is still broken. We need it done. Do you reckon you could do it? We probably need two people to do it. So you and Dripping can do it later today, so just come in later. Does that mean I have the day off until then? If you're asking if you have the day off until then, then yes, you do. Have fun. Then what should I do? You already know what I'm going to do. Yo, it's me. I kind of escaped the hospital, and before they find me, I wanted to do something fun. Meet me at the restaurant near the arcade when you receive this message. What the hell is he on? I gotta take him back to the hospital. You had the bean burgers. Uh, bean? Uh, that sounds gross. Yo, man, thanks for coming. What the hell were you thinking escaping from hospital? Good thing I have the day off until 3 p.m., otherwise you would be as good as alone. 
Come on, man, I need help. I haven't submitted my tax return. If I didn't escape, my ass would be flamed by the government. What do you want me to do about it? I have an idea. Oh, so now you decide to speak normally. Oh yeah, I needed an excuse to get out of work so I could do my taxes. So you could have gotten down the stairs. Jesus Christ. Sorry about that. Well, my back actually broke, so I have an excuse now. Was that from us throwing you off? And how the fuck did you get here then? Janitor brings out a walking stick. It should be healed by tomorrow. How the hell does it fix that fast? Modern medicine, I guess. Wow, that is crazy modern medicine, especially for today's medicine. All right, then let's head out. Follow me. And this is a shitty looking building. You follow the janitor to what seems to be a school building. You might know why we're here, but I need you to go get him. Him? Dripping. I don't know if you've met him, but he will help us out. Dripping? How the hell would he help us? He just seems like a crackhead. That's, ex that's exactly why we need him. Man, you're mentally insane. Come on! Let's go back to the hospital. No, I am not paying some stupid ass taxes. Fine then, but if we get cut, you need to cover for me. Deal, but you're going to get dripping. How will I do that? Say you're his dad. Oh shit, that's, that's, oh my god, that's so mean. You don't have a plan? Uh, of course I do, I just made that up on the spot. Fucking hell, whatever, I will be his dad. Whatever, I will be his dad. Here, take these clothes that I stole. Here, take these clothes that I stole from his house. You did what? For forget about it, they're just my spare ones. Whatever, let's go. You go. Same thing. You head into the schools, you see a bunch of children in the halls. Oh, I guess it's lunch. S stay, stay back, it's a pedophile. What, no, I'm just here to collect my son. Well, you should have gone to admin. That's not what my son said. Who is your son? Dripping. Stupid, Peto, we all know that Dripping doesn't have a dad. Well, uh, can I have him anyway? I will exchange him for cash. Yo, Dripping! You're free to go with this guy! Dripping appears out of thin air. Yo, who's this? A random stranger in my dad's clothes? Oh wait, it's Scott. Yeah, I'm going- I'm chill going with him. You know this pedo? He, he's not a pedo, he's my boss. He, he is? Well, take him. I don't need your stupid money. Alright, well, thanks a lot. I don't want that crackhead in my class anyway. Fuck yeah, let's go. Oi, drip- Oi, dripping. You're still in school, don't use that language. Shut up, cunt, I will say what I want. Whatever, whatever, get out, you two. Come on, son, let's go. Uh, they already know you're not my dad. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, same. Call him a bitch. Come on, bitch, let's go. Alright, pussy. <laughs> Bro, not cool. You and Jipping exit the school. Load. Uh, let's do tell him to come along. Come on, let's go. Alright, pussy. You and Dripping exit the school. Oh, I like the other one better. Hey Dripping, what's up? Yo, Gramps, nothing much. Dripping is your grandson? No, I just call him that because he's old. No, no, sorry, wrong person. No, I just call him that because he's old as fuck. Jesus, I'm not that old. Even though your voice tells me otherwise, and a lot of cigarettes. Or at least, not through my microphone, but you know. Anyway, why do why do you want us both, Grant? Both of us? Fuck. We are going to commit tax fraud, and then we will commit arson against the tax office. So I don't have to pay boring taxes ever again. And get on the wanted list at the same time? Knock yourself out, kiddo. So where exactly is this tax office? Right near the sc right near the school, actually. Let's go. All right, let's do this. 
I didn't even get to read that. I didn't click anything and it didn't let me read it. Let's burn this place to the ground. Uh, uh, you better a lighter, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I have the lighter. Where should we start? Uh, Scott, do you have any idea where to put it? Well, what is the building made out of? Stone. Stone. Well, why the fuck do you think that lighting it would be a good idea? Well, it's because I my, am myself, you know, I am dumb and so is dripping. Yeah, what he said. We both have an IQ of... One. Uh, you guys have any hairspray? Dripping probably does. Yeah, why would I not? Give it here. Dripping hands you the lighter. Alright, I'm going to do some big brain plays here. Oh, jeez. You hold the can up to the lighter. You ignite the lighter and spray the hairspray. Holy shit, it's like a flamethrower! Did you learn any science in school? Dude, you came from the game. How do you know science? My IQ is two. Come on, I know so much. True, at least he has a higher IQ of us. Well, if you like this video, leave a like, comment down below if you want to see more or what you want me to do next. Subscribe if you're new and may the odds be ever in your favor.